Hello and welcome to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, we had a heartfelt moment with Sayori, and we read some poems. Now we're being told to hold on for a sec. Hold on a second. <laughs> Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. A catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Sayori always helps me, or helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little bit when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Yeah, actually, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Huh. That curious expression coming from Yuri and all the people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... You're gonna ignore my question like that? Yeah. Asshole. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Yay! But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, huh. Yuri, you can. Uh, um... Question? Guys! Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No! That's not at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Excuse me? <laughs> Knew she objected to that one. N now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, 
Even I can tell. I guess I never saw, gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh. That may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> Helps me stay to the planet. <laughs> I love atmosphere. What helps you? No, atmosphere. It, there's gravity, yes, but then there's the atmosphere. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm stupid, not retarded. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she starts at her own desk, stares at her own desk, focused, and stares nodding to herself. Mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Joshua. The one who truly is, the one who is truly. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Who do you choose? Who do you choose, Joshua? <laughs> you could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Um, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of, of my club members? How on earth am I going to respond to that suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you to do. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Nasuki tr tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Joshua may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Joshua to. Well, what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Joshua to decide how he'd like to contribute. Uh, yeah, who do you choose? Who do you choose? Besides, he's gonna help me. He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I, I'm surprised as well. 
sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Joshua, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Huh. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm gonna go... Ooh, oh. we got a pick. Who you gonna help? Um, Sayori, Monica, Yuri, uh, or Natsuki? I, I, I don't know who to pick. Um, yeah, I feel like it's I mean, if it's going to be anyone, I'd prefer to help Sayori. <gasps> I mean, we're already neighbors and... Uh, but Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Uh-oh. Um, you um, gotta pick. Um, oh, oh. um, we do Yuri then? Sure. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, no. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Joshua. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is everything we need to go over? Or anything we need to go over? You said everything we needed to go over. Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Joshua? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh. Yuri's anxiety uh, anxiously. Ga anxiously gazes between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Joshua picked me. I've got two reasons. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. 
Wh why? Um. Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know. I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Nasuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, tr uh, trying to cheer up someone, up, you know, cheer someone up, it must be fair out, far, far, yeah, far out of far her out. own comfort. <laughs> far out of her own comfort. <laughs> But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if I didn't work, even if it didn't work perfectly, I can say that she tried to say something Sayori would say at the time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Huh? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um. Yeah, yeah. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I should give you my phone number. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchanged phone numbers. Mm, okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Uh, my house? Uh, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that it would be... I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. No, no, I, I'd make it. In that case, it wouldn't be a problem. I decide to not press Yuri for a reason. It's not like. It should matter as much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. <laughs> he sees me doing something. Oh, shit. I hope I managed. Oh shit! I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Joshua. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. What? Wait. God dang it. You don't actually think that, do you? Hmm. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any re other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose you to help because that's what I wanted to do. 
But... Yuri thinks to herself in an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her, uh, took her tremendous, tremendous effort. Yuri finally uh, uh, says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah! I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've haven't gotten pretty used to uh, I guess I haven't gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. I guess I have gotten used to her. Yeah. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? Oh. It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, it's all about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. You have no idea how right you are. You just go with it. You'll have a good time. You might marry him. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I already skipped It's two days. Sunday already. Saturday goes. Yeah, I know, right? I've been getting increasingly ex anxi uh, anxious. Anxious. Oh, anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it still doesn't help much. Yuri is clean and really? clearly an Inver Introvert! <sighs> oh, damn, we're tired. <laughs> oh, hey, yarning. We need to uh, and, and Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person. In general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little, but when... She when it just the two of us, it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, I have been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive. Apprehensive. I cannot read nor say words at first, but it wasn't going to be long. I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori and I said, between what Sayori said and what Monica said, Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of just simply entering each other's houses like we're family. 
The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her to not run downstairs and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Joshua. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's really easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it normally is always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals on the wall and uh, on animals and wall decorations as she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, you wouldn't be such it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning <laughs> cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be seeing Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know about that? Sayori has already been left by the time we decided the meeting last night. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Yeah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet or anything. Oh, so you just... Me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. Then when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Joshua. Huh? Why can't it just be like it always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me after all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been, even been thinking about me right now. But this, it's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being a selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Joshua. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> 
You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Joshua? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Um, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is this possible that Sayori kept this from me her entire time, and we've known her? Did she really want so badly from me? Just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh. Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Joshua. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Haha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in that club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, that doesn't... You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to be un... But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Joshua. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could help... have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt, too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I grab again... I want to, without thinking, once again, I grab Sayori's shoulders. 
This time I put her into a tight embrace. Ah. Uh, Joshua? Sayori? I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worth it, though. Worthwhile, though. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I would never have it any other way. Joshua. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Joshua. I... Sayori barely manages manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm going to be go, going the right way. Thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what you need to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need, need, uh, if there's anything that you need, can't read, I've got the, anything that you need me, me to, do. to do. I don't know why I struggle. Then you better tell me. I get mad if you don't. Dots. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Joshua. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But... Your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend all the time with you. Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. It's what I want. That's you. Sorry. <laughs> I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. They already wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days for this to be the one I have plans for. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. And at least... At uh, the very you, least. You could come along and help out. It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri, uh, Yuri, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. 
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I'll look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. And I think that's where we'll end this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Bye.